Okay, just testing something out. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Art. Back for another video. I've had a epiphany recently. Okay. Um, now, we all know about what's going on with the coronavirus. And um, so what happens in my state of Michigan, our governor dictated yesterday and this morning that all restaurants close at three o'clock to help stop the spread of it. Now, I understand the reasoning behind that, and that's great. The problem is, is that what about the people who work there? Well, like fast food places like McDonald's, Burger King, all that, they can have drive through open, but they can't have people go inside. So that means that if you want to get something to eat, you want to go through, you got to go through drive through now. I hate drive through. <laughs> I hate drive through with a passion. So that means that maybe I should go to the store and buy my own shit for lunch. If there's anything left. Okay. So like, for example, bars are closed. Now check this out. The St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day Parade should have been Sunday, but they canceled that because of the virus. St. Patrick's Day, now all the, like for example, all the bars closed. Our man, had, they had to close at three o'clock today. <laughs> I guess they're back with groceries. So what happened is, like tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Guess what? You can't go to the bars on St. Patrick's Day. They, they, all these people just lost money. So that's what happened. That's the downside about it. Okay, fine. So what happened is, like a friend of mine, he runs a bar, and, he, and his bar is still managed to stay. He still managed to make some money through the bar and everything. So he's going to use the time to clean completely so which means any stock that they have they either have to try to donate it somehow or throw it out because we don't know they're going to be closed for at least two weeks <laughs> but anyway <clears throat> i want to talk about a comic book that i bought months ago i have not read it yet but i already know what's in it okay <laughs> and this book is called marauders I bought the first two issues. That's it. Now you see right here, look at this. Badass. You got Storm right here. You got Iceman. Pyro in the back. Oh, he's a bad guy. You got Bishop right here. You got the White Queen. Whose name? Emma Frost, whose name is wrong. And who leads the group is Kitty Pride. Who was Kitty Pride? You say Kitty Pride was the original sidekick mascot of the X Men back in the eighties. She's all grown up. She and Colossus has a love hate relationship, and even they got married. <laughs> Backstory before here: the powers of Hex and the House of X, House the powers of Ten and House of X. This island called Krakoa. Don't know if it's an original one from the giant size X Men yet, because I haven't read that story yet. Now, what happens is there's a, there's a channel called Comic Books Explained, which explains the whole story. It's like two and a half hours, two and a half to three hours. I have not watched it yet because I want to read it. Okay? No spoilers on that one. Basically, what happens, all mutants are allowed. Remember, I talked to you about the last video about mutants and racism. So, what happens, all mutants are allowed to go into this, go into this island, live on this island. Okay. Bad, all, all crimes are forgiven. Everybody except her. She can't access it. Well, Rink can come and go. Everybody else can come and go, but she cannot access it for some strange reason. <laughs> now. Now, th that, that happens. Now, I'll tell you the truth. That happens in the first two pages of this book. Okay? I just set it up in the first two pages of the book. Now, the only reason why... I know what happens in the book, even though I didn't read it, because of another comic book YouTube channel called Comics Matter with your boy Zach. And what happens is, either in the description or the comments, I'm going to put a link to his video about this book. And the fun thing is, at first I wasn't going to buy this book. I wasn't going to buy it. 
even though it's looking all badassery and shit. This look, this look badass cover. I wasn't going to buy it until I saw his video. And the thing is, is that only thing I'm going to tell you about this video, even though I haven't read it, even though I know what's in it, a lot of shit happens. A lot of unexpected shit happens. That's on my review of this book. My review is a lot of shit happens on this book. <laughs> so what I want, so <clears throat> that's my review of Marauders number one. I haven't read it yet, but I've seen the video of Comic Comics Matter with your boy Zach, and he basically takes this video, he takes this book, and re and basically shows you the whole thing and re kind of reads the story. And I want you to re I want you to watch this. And what he did prompted me to buy this book. So I want you to watch that. I want you to watch that video. It's 25 minutes. I want you to watch it. Please. I want you to watch that video. And what you see what he does. And what what you see what he does. That's what prompted me to say. Baby this is a hot ass book to get. So sometimes. I get excited. And I like to talk about the shit. That I do. I like just like everybody. I like to talk about it. Now, I'll tell you the truth, my review of this book would that make you buy this book? Maybe not. I just say it's a cool book, only because I know what happens. Just please watch his video. I got it linked. I'm not gonna have it linked. Please watch his video, and then what happens? I want you to leave me a comment of what you think. And what you think of that video? Compared to his my view review and his review, I want to compare. And the thing is, he has million. He he's a good YouTuber. I'm a shitty crap. I'm a crappy YouTuber. I don't have that many followers. He does. <laughs> okay. And I want you to tell me who did the review better. I already know the answer. Now, for example, my boy Dynamite Kid 100 told me about Amazing Spider-Man 112. This book. Now the funny thing is, I haven't read this yet. But from what I read, but from what I gather of it, this is a classic Spider-Man story where he technically gives up. He gets sick and tired of getting he gets sick and tired of being harassed by J. Jonah Jameson. Because that's what happens all the time. He's harassed by J. Jonah Jameson because he thinks J. Jonah thinks he's a criminal. He the, the cops don't really like him too much. Sometimes the Pete crime the criminals don't like him, especially, and sometimes the people he saved don't like him. So he, he basically said, I give up. And then what happens? Something sparks him to give a shit again. <laughs> Even though I re now, the thing is, that's Spider Man's story. After all, he gets sick and tired. I mean, Sp Amazing Spider Man number 50, which is like, f he get, actually gave up. He basically threw, the, he threw his costume in the garbage and walked off. Something happened, he started giving a shit about being a hero again. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so what I want you to do is, I want you, so, after this video's over, I got the link. The link is either going to be down there, or to the side, or to that side. It's either going to be in the comments, or it's going to be in the description. <laughs> and I just want you to tell me what you think. And... Based on his review, would that make you buy the book? Alright. Even if you even though tell you, this is for he did his he did this review four or five months ago. <clears throat> that prompted me to buy the book. I haven't read it yet. I haven't even bagged and boarded. I haven't even read it yet. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of his video. Let me you know let, let and um, give me a comment and see if that makes you want to buy this big comic. Alright, talk to you later.